This is a brief video on the role of the Certified Peer Specialist, an emerging profession in Massachusetts and the world. The CPS role as we know it currently comes from a long history of advocacy and ad activism by people with lived experience of being in the system. With the ma mantra, nothing about us without us, early pioneers of the movement impacted beliefs and policy leading to today's mental health system. So what is a CPS? First and foremost, it's a person with lived experience. It's also a person who has had training, has developed competencies, has a code of ethics, a role within the mental health system, and a role beyond the mental health system. When we think of the idea of having lived experience, we think of having the shared lived experience of a mental health diagnosis and the feelings that go with that. But in addition, we also think about the experience of social exclusion and discrimination as a barrier. We also, for this role, think about the shared experience of disruption of life, being on different routes than perhaps your peers, for example, not being in college or not being able to get married and have children directly as a result of the disruption caused by a mental health diagnosis. This is what we think about for certified peer specialists. We also think about lived experience of moving beyond as something that certified peer specialists share. So moving from hopelessness to hope and belief in recovery, to finding a place where I can overcome my fear or overcome the barriers and know that I don't have to live my diagnosis, but can instead live my life. Certified peer specialists and peer workers aren't the only people within the mental health system who have lived experience. Within the mental health system, there are clinically trained mental health professionals who themselves may have lived experience and some of them choose to disclose that within their work. And while peer workers and CPSs may have the shared value of recovery and resiliency with those people with professionally trained who also have lived experience, there are some critical differences. A major difference is the expectation around disclosure, boundaries, and therapeutic relationships that is typically part of clinically clinical professions. For CPSs instead, there are expectations around working from a place of mutuality and sharing and a very heavy reliance on using our own personal lived experience or our story. In addition, when we think about lived experience, we want to think about how much similarity or peerness, if you will, does the person providing services in the peer role and the person receiving services have. So for example, if I had received a diagnosis and had treatment, but not had any, uh, any of my life impacted beyond my emotional level, but not had any disruptions, it would be hard to work in a state hospital and be able to say to somebody who's been in there for two years that I've had the same challenges of also having housing recovery or employment recovery. Uh, so we want to really think about the amount of similarity, not simply with diagnosis, but also with impact and level of involvement in the mental health system so that we can truly be peer specialists. That's what the term means. And so it is somebody with lived experience. A CPS also has training. And as you can see from the training, 
the CPS position is not an entry-level peer worker role. The training is rigorous because we know that the class, that the work itself is rigorous. The training requires people to be in nine days of training and participate in class, turn in homework, uh, and uh, take a written and oral exam so that they will be able to work not only in direct services, but work on teams with management, with perhaps the board of directors and so forth, which is typically required of the CPS role, which may be usually a 20 to 40 hour full-time complex role within the mental health system. A CPS is also somebody who has learned how to do certain things in their training. So it's not simply being in the training, but being able to learn how to do things and show at the end of the training that they can do them. And there are three main competency areas that we think about for CPS work. And a competency area simply means an area of work that you do. The first of these, of course, is peer support. And in peer support, we think about the skills that help us tell our story to inspire hope of recovery, connecting with people to develop healing relationships and trust, supporting people to find their own inner wisdom so that they can be self-determining and in the driver's seat of their own life. <clears throat> the second area that we think about is being a change agent. This can be on the personal level where being the evidence that recovery is real simply by being there can impact people using services as well as people providing services. But being a change agent also refers to being part of systems change. By sharing the experience of receiving services, CPSs bring in a perspective that only can come from the vantage point of lived experience and shape how policymakers and management think about redirecting and redesigning services. The final competency area that we think about is what's called being in but not of the system. And this refers to having the abilities and skills to go into our work and maintain our peerness in the job. That is that we don't slip into other clinical roles once we get into the job, but that we stay in that place of providing mutual peer support, of being in that place of peer to peer with the people using services that we are there to be with and support their journey and we do this by things like using everyday language instead of clinical terms, using lived experience and self-help rather than clinical interventions, etc. So it's that ability to stay peer in our work. And the best way that I've ever heard this described by a New Zealand certified peer specialist is she says, I am an expert at not being an expert. And that takes a lot of expertise. That is what the competency of being in, but not of the system is for a certified peer specialist to be there without stepping into a role where we have control over or in charge of a person's journey. And so we see that people have training and competencies, but also like all professionals, there is a code of ethics for certified peer specialists. And these codes are the ethical requirements that provide the guidelines for acceptable professional behavior, addressing 
the sometimes complex relationships involved in CPS practice, as well as the central tenets of our work. That includes that lived experience is our primary tool, that we work from the place of mutual healing relationships, and that we always support a person's self-determination. There are 14 ethics in all that guide our work. CVSs now have many more identified roles within the mental health system, including being members of PACT and CBFS teams, working in emergency services and in the RLCs. There are also roles in the peer-run organizations like the Transformation Center and AFIA, our peer-run respite. There are many other roles that may be developed within the mental health system and within the health system itself, like Peer Navigator. Many alternative settings also use CPSs, and the skills someone learns as they become a CPS can be used in many jobs in the community at large. Whether within or beyond the mental health system, CPSs are bringing stories of real people, real lives, real recoveries, and are becoming real players in transforming people's beliefs about mental health diagnoses, mental health service systems, and recovery. That our voices are now brought from just outside of the system and into the system can only be something that will bring improvement to all of the systems that are trying to shift to a recovery-oriented perspective. But most important, having the voice of recovery and bringing the voice of hope is critical for every person receiving services that may not yet know that recovery can be real for them. That is the most important job of a CPS. Thank you for watching and there's more information available on our website.